Or the bill. What's popping? What's going down in life for Scorpio between the 16th and the 31st of October? Hmm. Hmm. Are y'all being true to y'all selves and what it is that you need? Hmm. With that said, y'all already know we finna hit home, huh? Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. If this is your first time to my channel. Hey, boo, hey. I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. <clears throat> I make us a little. Make us a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say. But just know I cuss. So if that does not work for you, I'm going to ask that you don't leave no comments or express yourself. Yet just find another beautiful reader on YouTube. To all of my new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We're a little dysfunctional. We don't fight. We don't fuss. We do positive shit only on here. Okay? However, we do cuss. Yeah, we cuss. But we share. We love. We walk authentically and we evolve. We be real with ourselves here. And we embrace the love of our family members here because we all family here. All right. So with that said, this will be for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Scorpio. Between uh, for the 16th to the 31st of October. Also, if you need a personal reading, I do have a reading special going on right now. My 30, 45, and hour readings are um, $15 off. So if you need a personal, get your reading special. Save that shmane. Save your $15. Okay? This is not a personal. It's a general. If you need a personal, that information can be found below. Give me up. Love y'all. We rock it. All right, so Scorpio, the first message, as you know, comes from the Crystal Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. Okay, the card that you guys pulled is Topaz. Forgiveness heals. Time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and happiness. This is a beautiful sign from your guardian angels who love you so much and want to help you reach the next positive level in your health and happiness. They can see that you're being blocked and held back by repressed anger and resentment. Most likely you already know what needs to be released, but perhaps you've had difficulty letting it go. Forgiveness isn't condoning, accepting, or excusing someone's behavior. It means an unwillingness to harm yourself anymore. You don't have to like the other person or hang out with them. You simply need to agree to release their energy from your psyche. This card can refer to forgiving yourself for the actions that you regret. Self-blame is also as toxic as blaming others. This thing, I'm sorry, this only, the only thing valuable about reflecting on the past is learning from it not holding on to shame or guilt. Your guardian angels remind you that harboring anger hurts only you, not the other person. Repressed resentment is toxic to your physical, emotional, and financial health. It, <clears throat> all it takes is a little willingness to forgive, and God, Jesus, and the angels will do the rest of the work. Okay, y'all know I don't, I don't play with the angel message. I read it as is, okay? And you can, as you can see, I sucked at read, reading scripts. In everyday work life, I yeah, I would quit or get fired. I, I wasn't with the shits. I say what I gotta say my way. Okay, that's what's best for me. But I gotta say I don't I don't rearrange the angel messages because I feel like spirit is trying to communicate, you know, in a very, very straight shot way. And I feel strongly that it reaches so, so, so many people because I definitely felt the energy when meditating around Scorpio of a healing energy. With this Venus retrograde being in Scorpio, you have to understand y'all energy is about Pluto. You know, it's, it's regarding Pluto, the afterlife, you know, past life, uh, past life soul contracts. Um, it's also having to do with death, rebirths. You get what I'm saying? Death to old perspectives in the way that we see things and the rebirth to allowing a new way of seeing things in order to release that hurt. That you're holding on to because it's not about the actual situation on the surface. It's about us doing the inner work. Okay. And so that is what Scorpios are needing. It's time to take off the mask, Scorpio. When I was, yeah, I'm, I'm, the, I'm, yeah, I'm a big old kid. Y'all, y'all see me over here turning in, but yeah, cause this is what I do. Okay. But <laughs> as we, we're, we're, we're really needing to release, baby. Okay. We're really, really, really needing to release during this time. It's time to take the mask off. What makes you unhappy? Speak. What don't you like? Speak. It is not selfish to choose yourself. You hear me? Did somebody, did you hear me in the back? 
It is not selfish to choose yourself because if you're not right, how the hell are you going to get somebody else right? It's burdensome. It's heavy. You can't do it. It's hard. It ain't that you can't do it. Don't do it. Because you're only one person. And in being that one person, it's only fair that you live your experiences, your happiness, your journey, and your authentic truth, whether people like it or not. It ain't for everybody ain't going to like you and what you got going on. And everybody going to have something to say. Whether you're doing good or you're doing bad, think about it. It's a motherfucker always got something to say. These same people, I love God, but don't get it twisted. I'm going to keep it real. You understand? Because God created me. God woke us up not to be mediocre, but to be our best self, the best version of ourselves. So with that said, let me go and speak this truth because it needs to be said. A lot of you all are afraid to hone your spiritual abilities and really walk in your truths because you kind of have gotten comfortable in the state of religion and tradition and the way that other people expect you to be. For example... I'm a healer. You understand? I'm a healer. Bigger than this tarot shit. I'm a healer. Okay? To be honest with you, with the abilities that some of you all have, if Christ, that everybody hoop and holler about instead of giving praise to the creator, but that's a whole nother story, okay? Because y'all know I'm a realist. If Christ was walking around healing people, laying hands, in this day and time, they would call him the devil and murk his ass. You understand? But yet we still talk about and praise today, years and generations and generations and generations and centuries later. Understand this. People going to talk regardless. People going to feel away regardless. That does not need to take away from your great. You did? Y'all hit y'all with them uh with them with them granny fingers, with your mama fingers. You understand? Because some of y'all just simply need to hear, I'm proud of you. I love you. Because I truly feel like this. I'm proud of you, baby. I love you. Everybody ain't got a family to lean on. So if you got that, be grateful. You ain't got to agree with everybody. Just be accepting to their bullshit. Doesn't mean you have to allow it in your life. Just be accepting. That's just who you are. You ain't shit. I accept that. And I love you for every piece of your ancientness. But that doesn't mean I have to allow that shit in my life because it takes away from me. It's draining. Straight like that. Let's get into it. During this time, it's a very healing time. With everything I just discussed, I was really kind of going through your spirit message. <laughs> but we're going to go through your spirit messages. It's a very healing time. Yes, I got a nail appointment today. Okay? Don't, don't do my nails because y'all know. Whew, I'm, I'm, I, the kid loves the nails. I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm getting it done. However, it's very healing time. Okay, <laughs> a lot of you all want newness in your life. Some of you all will find out that you're expecting during this time. And congratulations, cause Mocha love the kids. I, who, who love the kids? <laughs> I do. I do. Mocha love the kids. Congratulations. Some of y'all will find out if you have uh, older children, especially boys, that they're having children on the way, especially if they're dealing with a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. Congratulations, Grandmama, Papa. Congratulations. It's a blessing. Some of you all who are older are seeing hereditary karmic cycles live through your children. And to be honest, you need them to have Honest conversations. Get out of your head and get to talking about it. Some of you all have children, period, and you kind of see in a cycle with your childhood within your baby's life, and you're wanting to change it. You're wanting to shift it. And for some of you all, you're a spiritual teacher. You're a counselor. That is what you're here to do, to shift your fixed energy so it don't feel good. But it's about shifting and taking on a different perspective. And this time, during this time, some of you all could be having children born as well. If you're not finding out you're pregnant, some of y'all are having children during this time. Or your ch children are having children. And you're kind of in your head because it's making you reflective about your past and the things you've allowed. And if you chose to take certain 
steps back then where you would be now and it's not about being reflective and holding on to that hurt because that just really builds that woulda coulda shoulda that that remorseful and regretful energy let that go let that hurt go this Venus retrograde is bringing the healing so if you find yourself crying a whole lot baby allow the purge to take place allow the purge it's healthy and also receive and allow the new be accepting to the new a lot of you all have soulmates, twin flames, new relationships. A lot of y'all are psychics. Some of y'all are going into walking authentically in your abilities. And maybe that's been the issue in relationships because you can see smooth through people. But what would they think if I tell them this shit? So now I got to just put a mask on and detach my feelings when really they don't understand the things that I see or I feel. Because you ain't told them. You're needing to speak. The throat chakra. Speak. Speak, speak. During this time, a lot of you all are going to be communicating possibly with the air sign. I'm over it. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's not an equal level of give and take in this relationship. A lot of you all are dropping them burdens because you're tired of being indecisive when it comes to love, especially around the air element. Some of you all could be moving away from the earth sign. Capricorn towards Virgo. You feel the same shit. It's not an equal give and take. I'm over the shit. Some of you all are moving away from a Gemini. Some of you all are truly, some of you all are really in your head about leaving marriages and serious commitments because you just want to accept this newness. And being true to you and accepting that newness, really, really, really just, for some of you all, you want to just move away and focus on your coin. Because you're being real with yourself to understand I've been putting so much focus into these feelings instead of stability. Instead of where, where my, my past. What is for me? Some of you all who are looking for new jobs, a lot of you all will possibly be starting new jobs or have some type of promotion happening within a job. Some of you all, this is very, very, very good energy. Venus brings that lady luck energy. But I'm not, I wouldn't encourage gambling, especially if you have a gambling addiction. Like, I'm go gambling saying, oh, Mocha told me to go gamble and, you know, go play the, no, don't do that shit. I didn't say that. I said the energy is good for things outside of yourself. Playing football boys, all kind of, I'm from the South, baby, so we would find anything to make some money, baby. We'll find, we'll get some damn money on the game of pity pat and Uno, what you mean? So, you know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's really how you look at it. But Lady Luck is definitely on your side during this time. So if you've been feeling, you know, going to the casino, going to, you know, hang out with friends, maybe in an environment, um, that involves like contests, raffles, things of that nature, definitely follow your, trust your intuition. Try something new because the energy of finances, there go again, ten of pentacles. The energy of finances and stability is on you, baby, as well as love. Some of you all really want to move away from worrying about money and really kind of focus on love because some of y'all, that's been your focus, especially if you're dealing with a Gemini. Some of you don't know if you want to keep it going or move forward. You feel like this person wants a new beginning with you, but you feel like, you know, you have to be defensive toward them, even though deep down, baby, you want the same stability. You want that same love. You want that same thing. Some of you all are moving towards uh, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all are leaving them. Some of y'all are actually having a new beginning take place with an within, uh, Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And some of y'all are moving away from their ass. Some of y'all are very, very, very passionate about a fire sign and reconciling with this person. You see this person as an empress, okay? But some of you all have two decisions to make. Some of y'all got to choose between a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, as well as the Earth sign. Some of you all, some of y'all are definitely going to find out y'all pregnant. This is for the Scorpio man. Some of y'all, somebody's pregnant. Some of y'all are reconciling with your family. You want to bring your family back together. You want to work on the unit. You want to work on duality. Some of y'all, like I said, most of y'all, you need to speak your truths in order to get to this newness. A lot of y'all are possibly seeing butterflies during this time. And the butterflies signify new shit, new shit only. I mean, but it's up to you. Some of y'all, you want an Aquarius. Some of y'all cutting off an Aquarius due to some form of deception that you're going to find out about. And some of y'all may find this out through the court system or through some form of child support. Some of y'all may find out that somebody, especially if you're dealing with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this person was giving outside money to another person. I see a man giving a woman money on this. And I feel like it's like hush money to keep shit out of the court system. Some of y'all going to find out because this woman is tired of being quiet. And she's tired of his little petty ass. I'm literally hearing... I'm tired of your little pity ass change. 
your wife make more money than you anyway. And so shit's finna hit the fan. Some of y'all finna get out of jail free, finna get a get out of jail free card and release you from these situations. But it's not about you looking at circumstances on the surface because spirit don't want you to hold on to that hurt. This occurred to surface those true emotions, baby, that's internally rooted within you, that's affecting relationships going forward. To stop that cycle from happening. From you seeing the same person in a different body or with a different face. Because it's something that's within you that spirit is trying to get right. Okay? I do see some of you all will be starting new jobs. Okay? Some of you all are going to possibly move away from situations or been afraid to move away from situations due to finances. Because maybe you were an at-home mom or something of that nature. But you're tired of that shit. Spirit wants you to know, baby, go chase your dreams. Go trade, go, 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 baby, jump over the fucking moon. Life is limitless, is what you make it because a lot of y'all, you're gonna drop them burdens during this time. You're dropping them burdens. You're gonna drop them burdens and you're done being internally conflicted about it. You're done accepting half ass offers. You're done wearing this mask like everything all good because of what everybody else is gonna think outside of your relationship. Fuck them people. Fuck them people. Some of y'all got a water sign that wants to reconcile with y'all. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And that's, you very passionate about this person. However, this person may be a juggler. Tell them I ain't with that thigh shit. What you gonna do? Period. Some of you all want a family dynamic with a fire sign. Go get your family. Go get them. Some of y'all is with a water sign. Go get your family. Heal these cycles. Only thing the fear is fear itself. What you scared of? Y'all got my nose and my head, everything on fire right now. Go get them. Go get them. Some of you all want to make an offer to an earth sign. Put your pride down. You can't buy shit with it. Go get them. For some of you all, you work with this person. Go get them. Some of you all, baby, here come your cancer. After you to heal from their ass. After you to heal from their ass. Some of y'all, you couldn't somebody y'all do to a third party situation. I feel like this, that Gemini Libra Aquarius. This motherfucker giving this lady this money. But intuitively, you already knew. Because you need to be true to you. And don't worry about, oh, they going to lock my ass up in the crazy house. It ain't what you do, it's how you do it. You don't got to give out all the jewels. Just sprinkle a ruby on. Look, just, look, fuck that. Just sprinkle some. Sprinkle a little zirconia on a bit. Just, just, just sprinkle a little bit. Or reel them in. Put that bait on that damn lot. Throw it out there. And reel it in. But you don't got to wear a mask. How a person going to love you if you don't give them all of you? Or you don't allow yourself to be vulnerable to see the good, the bad, the ugly? You want that from a person? You can't expect some shit you're not willing to give. So spirit is releasing you all. It's a very releasing time. Cry, baby. You want to cry? Cry. If you want to cuss all them motherfuckers out, cuss they ass out. Cry. Forgive them. Forgive yourself for feeling naive and keeping yourself in that mental prison. Take off like the phoenix, baby. It's time for you to win. This coin in the building. True love in the building. Forgiveness is here. Restructure, rebuilding, redos is in the building. Some of y'all need to heal from father situation. Heal, heal that situation with your father or your husband or your baby father. Heal it. God has given God, God out here blessing people. Re, are you going to receive it? Or are you going to stay stubborn, stay stuck in your head or feeling that way at least? Release it, baby. Be free. I love y'all. This is what I got for y'all between the 16th and the 31st of October. And if you need that reading, you better save your $15 to save your money. I am available. That sale ends on the 15th. So I love y'all very, very, very much. Much love. Many blessings. Being authentic to yourself. Fearlessly. Namaste, my babies. Bye, y'all.